So in this video I want to talk about a couple different kinds of materials we use to make things. Uh, those three types of materials are animal and plant materials, another kind is uh, metals, and then a third type of material uh, is called a polymer. And so before talking about these individually, let's just talk about one application that we might want to um, use these materials for, and then that'll help us understand why we would do uh, different sorts of things uh, with those materials. So the example in this video uh, is football pads. So this, this person is tackling this other person, right? And, and there's some force on his shoulders here. And the pad is there to do two things, really. One thing is to, is to spread the force of the impact across his shoulders. Rather than hitting in one spot, it, it spreads it over a larger area. Right, so the first thing is to uh, spread, spread out the force. Uh, and that just makes the actual uh, size of the force that's applied in any given area smaller, so it, it helps protect him. Uh, and the second thing is that there's padding in it. It's squishy, squishing. I accidentally wrote squishing instead of squishy, but that works. And what the squishing does is it makes the impact take longer, right? It increases the amount of time, increases time. And what that does is it, it also reduces the force, but instead of by spreading it out, it, it, it spreads it out over time and so the, the maximum force at any given moment is actually smaller. So these are two different ways that pads are able to protect somebody and, and reduce the force that their body's experiencing. Okay, so let's look at some materials and think about how they help us accomplish these different goals. So the first type of material I want to talk about is this, this animal and plant type of material. These are things that we can get it, uh, basically from nature and, and don't have to do too much to them. Uh, to be able to use them. And they've been around for a long time. So one, one thing here is, uh, is cotton. This is from a plant. Uh, we can also get uh, fibers from, um, from a sheep uh, to make wool. And we can weave these fibers together that we get from this plant or this animal and make cloth or, or padding of some sort. Uh, and, that, and that serves the squishing purpose. It increases the time. And leather over here is another material that you'll see used in old football pads. And that actually uh, partially fills this, this squishing requirement, but it also helps, because it's a tough material, helps spread out the force over a larger area. So that's the animal and plant type of materials. And that's kind of the oldest class of materials that we've been able to use as humans. So the next kind of material that, that we got good at using as humans is metals. So what I have here is a picture of iron ore uh, and it really just looks like a rock and, and that's because it, it is a rock um, but it's a rock that has iron in it and it, there's a bunch of other stuff in it too um, but there's this good metal material inside of that. So I'm gonna write that down, ore. That's, that's actually where we get um, most, maybe, maybe all of our metal is from some form of ore that we dig out of the ground. And then through a process called smelting, I'll just write that down as well, smelting, we get the pure form of, of an iron metal. And then from this, we're able to mold it into different shapes, maybe make buckles and things like that, buckles and buttons that are on uh, football pads. But we can go one step further. We can also mix this iron metal and other kinds of metal together, and maybe even materials that aren't metal, mix them together and, and create more alloys. So we can also create alloys. And an alloy, I'm throwing a lot of words out here, but an alloy is just a mixture of a metal with, with another metal or another material to try to give it um, new properties. And one famous example of an alloy is steel. And the reason steel is so famous is because it's actually a very strong and light kind of metal and allows us to um, really do a lot of things. We can make taller and taller buildings because steel is so strong while also being light. And it's also something that you see in a lot of other applications. So this, for example, uh, using steel, we can, make, we can make the buckles and little other connecting parts of, of these football pads stronger and also lighter. Uh, the third type of material I want to talk about uh, is called a polymer. So this might be a new word, but 
there are some kinds of polymer that you're probably already familiar with. One of those is plastic. There are lots of kinds of plastic, uh, but plastic is one kind of polymer. Um, rubber. Rubber is another kind of polymer. And polymers are actually the thing that is used the most in something like a football pad because you can make so many different kinds of materials with so many different sorts of properties uh, by, by mixing together different, different sorts of polymers. So here you can see, here are some, some football pads. And on the surface here, all of this is a, a kind of hard plastic that we, um, we've been able to mold and make really light and hard so that it's, it's both somewhat easy to make uh, these, uh, these pads and they're also hard enough where they do a really good job of spreading out the force. And these over here are, are nerf darts, and nerf darts are known as being very squishy. And the reason they're squishy is they're, they're made of a polymer. And, and when, when the darts are being made, they actually fill it up with gas, so there are all these little bubbles in it. Um, but it's still able to stay together and just be this really squishy material. And something kind of like that uh, uh, can be put into something like, like football pads. So it, it can also serve this uh, squishing and increasing time purpose uh, when you're building football pads. So you might be thinking, well, what exactly is a polymer and where does it come from? Well, a polymer is basically, um, it's, it's actually a lot like the fibers you would find in, in uh, cotton or wool or, or something you might make cloth out of, but the fibers are very, very small. And if you've heard of atoms, they're only a few atoms thick. So if I were to zoom way in on this Nerf dart, I might see a bunch of little interlocking threads. So maybe this thread looks like this, and there's another thread next to it, and then there's another thread that actually crosses over it. Um, and it wouldn't be in this nice weave pattern, so maybe there's another thread that's all curled up in it, and it's all tangling. Um, and so anytime you see a plastic or, or a rubber thing or, or something that's foam, um, what's going on inside of it is that there's this big tangled mess of little strings inside of it. And we can use chemistry to make different types of these little strings so they stick together different amounts or weave in different ways. And that's what gives us these different properties like really hard plastic or, or really soft uh, foamy polymer or, or rubber in a tire or something like that. So that's what a polymer is, and where it comes from uh, really depends on the kind of polymer. Uh, some of the sources are actually uh, from a plant, so there's, a, there's actually a tree called a rubber tree that gives us the raw material to start uh, making rubber, and we can do things, we can use chemistry to, to change that into, into different sorts of, of materials. Um, and another source of it actually is um, oil that comes out of the ground, the same oil that we use to make gasoline that goes in cars. Uh, can actually be used uh, to create uh, polymers that um, go, go into all kinds of other things. There are lots of sources of polymers, but they do come from somewhere. They always come from somewhere, and then we use chemistry in some way uh, to, to try different things out and see what we get. And then sometimes they're, they're, they're useful for, for different uh, purposes when you're designing either a football pad or it could be a building or a toy or, or a computer or, or anything. So hopefully it was a little bit interesting to, to see how we can use different sorts of materials uh, to, to create and even improve the design of, of different things, and in particular football pads.